we have a couple of guests on the yeah. Fetish record as well. We do. And there are some... Two, two uh, female singers uh, from a very different background. Um, yeah. But having guests on our records is something that we tend to do. Yeah. And I get, did that start with the Fringes record? Or was yes. Uh, I don't, we never had anyone before that. Uh, we had some choir singers on yeah. Half the World, mm -hmm. but not, not like... Uh, Where did the idea come from? Do you remember? Like, was it... Did we hear some other record and just thought, thought you know, that's well, amazing? Or I don't remember do which or? came first. I think, actually, Becky came first, because that was even in the writing uh, period. This was like at the very early stages of the internet. I, I got the internet uh, around the same... Uh, I started having an email address mm -hmm. at the same time that we did the first album we did, uh, Triumph for Man. And I remember it just it was just so fascinating. You go into these chat rooms and talk to people from all over the world about music and it is pretty you know, mind bending things that I liked at the time. You know, computer games and uh, kung fu movies. And uh, I had heard uh, on MTV this Jay Z song called yeah. I don't remember the, t the title of the song, but he was sampling uh, something from the, the Little Orphan Annie soundtrack, the Annie soundtrack. Yeah, the the musical. It's a hard knock life yeah. and. Um, it's uh, I really love that kids shouting choir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that gave me the idea of uh, we we should have that on a song, and then from there, I I got uh, you know I was in a chat room about music and um, I was talking to different people, and uh, this uh, girl wrote me, what you know what kind of music do you do or I wrote her what kind of music do you like, and uh, it's and she said like. In that discussion, she told me that she'd been doing uh, singing in a musical called Annie. Right. And then yeah, I thought, yeah. okay, wow, that, yeah. what, if, that, what if this yeah. must be destiny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I yeah. thought, I, I wrote her, can you can you can you send me some stuff you've done? And and she did. She sent me a tape. She had a great voice and, yeah. and a, a really beautiful timbre in her voice. Mm. And uh, then. You know, the idea was to send her uh, the, the basic recording and have her go into a studio there mm -hmm. and record it. But her mother had never been to Europe and really wanted to go. And, and I think they thought it was a, kind of an adventure mm. uh, to do this. So she ended up, they ended up flying to Copenhagen and spending, I think, maybe a week here. Uh, they, they stayed in, in my apartment and I, I stayed with a friend. And prior to Airbnb, yeah, that was prior to Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think they they had a, a great experience, and and yeah, you know, it, it was quite cute. I, yeah. I do remember sort of flashes of of them being here and yeah, going to Tivoli and you know just seeing the sights. I mean, it must be weird. Imagine that you're, you know, living somewhere in America, and all of a sudden you're in Denmark of all places, yeah. singing on a record. You know, it's it's, I mean. Today, maybe, but <clears throat> 15 years ago, that was pretty unheard of, yeah. you know. Um, and, and I love how random it is. Yeah. I love that yeah. it's just like something has just happened. It happened for a reason. Accord, yeah. in a way, you know. Mm. And um, I remember that she was so, she was the opposite of shy, which is very un-Danish, you know. Mm. They would, they, they can't, they're still jet lag, but she put on her music and she performed... Uh, I think a Celine Dion song or something like that, and just right. belted it out in my little apartment, and I was just like, "Wow, <laughs> there was a, a Danish kid would never have done that." You know, no, it's just no. not in our culture to to be that you know look confident, at you, you know, yeah, 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 confident and and you know focused on. No, them. so I, I was really impressed with that. And um, was and she quick to record her vocals? Yeah, she yeah. she did. I think she did like four takes, and yeah, uh, and then that was it. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. It still sounds really good to this day.